the UFC's 205 pound division. Alonzo Menafield, 31. Vinicius Modeda is 29. Modeda, the taller man by four inches. Both fighters enter the octagon with a reach of 76 inches. All right, now for the particulars. Back inside to Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist holding a professional record. Nine wins, one loss. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Brasilia, Brazil, Vinicius Mamut Moreira. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner, a freestyle fighter holding an undefeated professional record. Seven wins, no losses. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 204 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Dallas, Texas, Alonzo Manafield. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Dan Bergliata. The veteran Dan Mergliata, third man in the octagon for this one. Ariane Celeste is here. Thank you, Ariane. Ready to go here. Round one, Alonzo Menafield has had a lot of quick nights at the office in his career. And there's Vinicius Moreda. While many of you were in commercial break as Moreda made the walk, he was brought to tears. Very emotional in advance oh. of this UFC debut. Oh, oh. Minifield said he was going to piece him up, John, and that's exactly what he's doing, but he's got to be careful here. Tonight's fight clock brought to you by Modelo. Minifield has no time for the fight clock. Off to a furious start here. His last fight against Deshaun Boatwright was an eight-second knockout on Dana White's Tuesday Night Contender Series. He had to do the Contender Series twice, so he's happy to finally be here right. and try to knock Moreira out, but you saw it. When Moreira hit the ground, he immediately started looking for submissions, John. Like you said, He's a submission expert that can finish a lot of fights and finish them very quickly in that way. Metafield, as he absorbs that body kick, partially told us he actually prefers to fight taller opponents. Feels like it's easier, and a nice one-two there for Metafield. Moreno's very, very stationary. He's very heavy on his feet, very flat-footed. It doesn't allow him to get out of the way of these big strikes by Metafield. You see Moreta keeping those eyes fixed low, looking for an opportunity to change levels. Continuing to keep that guard pretty high, though, but Menafield able to get through with a couple shots there. You notice that Moreta actually defends oh. the high guard. It's because he's so flat-footed. I mean, he's very flat-footed. Look at the difference between him and Menafield. Menafield's kind of, like, loose. Menafield played college football, Texas A&M Commerce, went on to the Arena League as a linebacker. Moreta telegraphing that flying knee offering just over three minutes here in the round. Another crossing right lands from Menafield. Menafield's got to be very careful. He's a big, strong, physical guy that's using a lot of explosive action to try to hurt Moreta. That will lead him to getting tired if he's not careful. Because when, when Moreta actually goes up high guard, John, he's not getting hit. He's doing a really good job of getting his hands up. And now he's up to an underhook position, and he's bigger, he's taller. So he's raising Minifield up, breaking his posture. For Minifield to defend, he's got to get his head and chest down and get all of his weight on Moreta. And Moreta not afraid to take a couple shots to get inside. Blatant fence grab there by Moreta. Yeah, I see two again. warnings I, now. I just don't know if he... He understands the warning in English. Yeah, maybe he doesn't understand right. the warning. I mean, we all know we're not supposed to do it, right. but <laughs> nobody's watching. Uh, hey, man. <laughs> Manifield working hard to stay upright here. Moreno's going to try to circle off to his right here to sit Manifield down. He's going to try to sit him down here by circling to his, to his left, I'm sorry, and taking... Minifield back. There you go. The reason that didn't work, though, is because he, uh, he, like, he didn't keep that leg threaded. He's got to keep that leg threaded. Moreta drops to a knee. Menafield using that gap between the fence and the canvas to his advantage. Oh, he's got him in a choke here. Minifield's trying to choke him. Believe it or not, this could be good for Moreta because he's just leaning on Minifield. Making him carry his weight. Moreno's a bigger guy. 
he's not as muscular. A lot of times, all that muscle starts to blow up and you start to fatigue a little bit faster than the guy that maybe carries a little, little less muscle. Menafield closed a minus 280 favorite tonight. Moreta came back plus 255. Oh! Big knockdown for Menafield! I mean, that's... Oh, huge right hand! The end co could come here any minute. Yeah, it's over. Dan Mugliata steps in, that'll do it. Alonzo <laughs> Menafield has arrived! You can tell when a guy's in trouble when they try to go to their hands. They're trying to stand up and, and nothing's in check. They, he should have stayed on his back, tried to pull Minifield in. But that was the third time he threw that spinning technique, and every time he left himself in danger. Well, Menafield felt like if the takedown defense held up early, that eventually that kill shot would materialize unofficially, stuffed all five takedowns. And Alonzo Menafield, once it's official, will have moved to 8 0. Pretty good start to the UFC run here tonight. Yeah, great start and just great way to take advantage of an opening. He never let Moreira get his wits back about him after he threw that spinning back kick for the third time. He went and got him. Watch, as you watch here, look at this. Moreira had just thrown that kick. Oh, this was the first kick. He threw the, body, the leg kick. Minifield was able to catch the leg and throw two big right hands, drop him. Almost finished early. Again, jab. Right hand, he landed so many of these techniques early in the first round. But watch this, spinning back kick. Now, before Moretta can actually get back where he needs to get, boom, right hand. But I mean, Moretta throws this technique, it's very slow. He leaves himself out of position, and then right here, he takes a hard punch, tries to go to his base, but Minifield's doing a good job of actually keeping his right hand so that he can't turn all the way down. Great job by Alonzo Minifield. Metafield, the father of 